All right, what's going on everybody? So this is a pretty weird video to make because I don't really remember any other situations like this kind of unfolding. This is pretty crazy in all reality here, man. So the commentary community has been sort of flipped on its head instantaneously overnight. This all happened pretty much while I was asleep and I wake up, I log into Twitter, I'm looking through it and everything. The first few things that I start seeing are about John Swan, right? I've got DMs and all kinds of stuff. And I start looking through this and it comes out that John Swan lied about everything in this whole dream situation. The one that pretty much the entire commentary community stood behind him in. He was publicly defended by so many people for this entire situation. And it turns out that we were all made fools. We were all told a bunch of lies directly by John Swan in some of our circumstances here. So I, I first want to take the time to apologize directly to Dream, okay? Because throughout this entire thing, he was made out to look like the bad guy because he was making these allegations basically against John Swan. And John Swan was lying about being the victim. He was lying about everything that was going on. And Dream's career realistically was put in a good amount of danger. I mean, at that time, he was kind of becoming like an enemy of the commentary community here on YouTube, right? Which, you know, I don't think he was going to have his career ended or anything crazy like that. I mean, his fan base is just, I think, way too strong to just cancel him like that on the spot or anything crazy. But a lot of people were on John Swan's side in this entire situation. A lot of people defended him for this. And it turns out that he lied about basically all of it. He was making shit up to defend himself. He was lying directly to other commentators who were defending him, including me. And like I've said, you know, I I never was like close friends with John Swan. You know, I, I at any time, I never was in private calls with him unless other YouTubers were involved very few times, right? The most we ever really did together was like a couple of Twitter DMs and like we collaborated on the Commentary Crusade Pokimane video. He was a pretty fundamental part in that video. So I never knew like the true personal side of John Swan, right? I only knew him from how I'd collaborated with him and had minor conversation with him. So I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt. And uh, it turns out that with that, he was lying and Dream was actually being truthful. He was defending himself and John Swan basically lied and manipulated the community into thinking Dream was in the wrong, which actually could have been severely damaging to Dream's reputation and whatnot. So I want to apologize to Dream for not believing him because obviously his side of the story is now the correct side of the story here. And so now I kind of want to break down everything that has unfolded. So I have unlisted both of my videos that I made on the subject because obviously now those opinions were wrong. John Swan was not a victim here. He was not having his career attacked by Dream. In fact, he was the one trying to harm Dream's career instead. And it all kind of came out really uh, with several other YouTubers and whatnot kind of talking about it. They were airing some stuff out, it seems like, before this, uh, this John Swan tweet went up. And people were kind of talking about it and everything. So it, it seemed like already before he even said anything, right? Like people were starting to realize like, holy shit. Then John Swan finally came clean, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and read through this here. Hello everyone, as a commentator, my credibility is important to me. Unfortunately, I've let you all down. There's no excuse for what I did and I take full responsibility. I wish I could have made a video, but I'm currently traveling and not in the position to do so. I was messing around on Discord about a year back with a friend of mine. I had 6K subs and I thought nothing of it. This somehow got back to Dream and I didn't expect it to. I panicked, I told a lie, and I thought it would never get brought up again. I was wrong. Dream's Reddit post came out and I was completely in shock. I panicked again and I made my thread, digging myself into a deeper hole. I thought it would look really bad if people thought I was impersonating a YouTuber even though it was so small and inconsequential at the time, but I understand now that lying about something on as big of a scale as this is indefensible. Time after time, I messed up. I should have just said it was me all along and I didn't. I dug myself deeper and deeper and I got caught up with everything. I lied about a massive creator and I'm sorry. There is no excuse. There is no need to defend me. I was brutally wrong and I'm sorry for lying to you all. I'm especially sorry to dream for everything that I did. Lying at the expense of someone else's credibility is one of the worst things a creator can do. Once again, there is no excuse. I understand if this makes you lose respect for me. In fact, I would be shocked if it didn't. I messed up on such a large scale that I don't know if I'm capable of anyone's forgiveness, but I will try my best to earn my respect back. I have let you all down. I'm ashamed and disappointed in myself, and I'm sorry. I will be taking off time from all social media to process everything. I will return at some point, but I don't know when. In the meantime, stay safe and healthy. I also want to apologize to the people that stuck their neck out to defend me. People like Nick, Augie, Boblax, Tipster, Optimus, and others. I lied directly to their faces and put everyone's credibility in danger. I didn't consider how this might have affected them, but I should have. 
Once again, there is no excuse for what I did. Dream put out a thread saying, it's come to my attention that John Swan has confessed to his friends about lying about me after being confronted with new evidence and has deleted his response after my stream. I knew about this new evidence about a week ago and I offered in private for him to confess to me and apologize and delete his tweets and I wouldn't criticize him publicly for it without telling him about the evidence. And he still denied it fully and continue, continued to tweet lies. I'm glad this has come to an end, but severely disappointed in John Swan for continuing to lie about me. Despite me giving him multiple opportunities to tell the truth, I would like an apology to me and my community from John Swan, but I'll probably not get one. I'm also very disappointed in all the commentary channels that made the narrative that I quote, slandered a small creator. I hope they'll put equal effort into making sure that people know that I didn't as they did into that. I guess I'm one of these people. That's it though, I don't plan on talking about it anymore. And remember, don't attack anyone on my behalf. Thank you guys for the support as always and Detective Dream on top, LOL. So to be honest with you guys, like I'm kind of stunned that this all happened, right? Like this is legitimately what I woke up to, okay? I roll out of bed, you know, I get my morning stretch, I get some water, go to the bathroom, I open my phone up and this is what I see. Like this is insane that this has unfolded in the way that it did. It's definitely nothing that I would have expected out of John Swan, but the reality is reality. He did this. He admitted that he lied. He admitted that he lied to people like myself directly by name and basically admitted that he fucked up, okay? And he here's the thing though, regardless of whether or not he apologized, he has to be somewhat held accountable for this, right? Like he, he someone has to say something. People have to denounce this behavior. Like that shit just can't go. You know what I'm saying? And people are calling him out, right? Like the commentary community is very vocal about the, you know, unapproval, I guess, of what John Swan just did because you know, I, I honestly feel really shitty about this because there's so many people that this affected outside of John Swan, right? You know, it wasn't just Dream versus John Swan. It got to the point where people who are innocent in this situation got harassed, got fucking death threats, and all kind of crazy things, right? Nicholas Diorio wasn't even involved in this situation. But Nick was name dropped by Dream on stream, okay, because of his affiliation with John Swan and whatnot, and uh Within pretty much minutes, his Twitter account was flooded with hundreds of people replying to him, spamming shit, fucking with him basically because of his defense of John Swan and being affiliated with him. Cordwit, who is a smaller commentator who I believe at this time had some sort of video project about Dream going on with John Swan, legitimately got fucking death threats sent to him about this, okay? People literally threatened to kill Cordwit because of his affiliation in this whole John Swan thing, right? He was literally getting his life threatened and being harassed non-stop. And then there's people like me, I can't make myself out to really be a victim here. Uh, I didn't really face any harassment from dream stands or anything like that. I didn't face any real like negative kind of shit. You know, I maybe got some negative comments on the videos or whatever, that really doesn't matter. But I feel really bad about the fact that I, I offered my support, right? Like I believed John Swan because of his story, right? And, and the points that he had been making, right? And it turned out that I was being duped in this whole thing, along with all these other commentators who supported him, all these other people who supported him. And we were kind of highlighting Dream to be the bad guy in this situation, right? Like we were pretty vehemently standing behind John Swan as a fellow commentator, basically thinking of this as like what Dream just basically became an enemy of the commentary community because all these commentators are defending John Swan, right? So it got to this point, right, where like the whole commentary community rallies around this guy and he fucking lies to everybody. So he put all our reputations on the line, you know, he put, uh, he put our face publicly on the line, right? And then you also think about the fact of the scapegoat in this situation, right? He basically made the excuse that he never did it. He was hacked by this autistic, I believe, 12 year old who was like really interested in YouTube and wanted to troll or whatever, right? People are saying that, you know, he, he was making it out like this autistic 12 year old family friend did all this and whatnot, right? And that was the story he was defending himself with. So at that point, he essentially used the concept of someone with, you know, who's on the mental spectrum, right? Like they have autism, they're on the spectrum to defend himself with, right? Because, you know, how, how many people do you know are gonna really say something about, you know, all oh, this autistic 12 year old did it. I couldn't really be mad about it, all kinds, that, that situation, right? Like who's gonna speak out against that, right? Because it would kind of make you look like an asshole, right? Well, it turns out that that wasn't the situation at all. And he had been fucking lying to everybody about this. So I've seen people say things like, oh, John Swan's career is over, things like that. Now with YouTube, honestly, I don't think his career is over because on YouTube, dude, there's people who've done like far worse shit, like legitimate, like sexual crimes and all kinds of crazy shit, right? And they're, they're doing better than ever, right? Like their channels are flourishing. I, I don't think somebody lying about doing some racial trolling and shit on the internet is about to get canceled and have his career ruined. Now, honestly, I think it is an important situation, right? Because 
John Swan literally put Dream's reputation on the line for himself, right? For a situation that never would have blown up, right? Like, th this whole thing probably never really would have went anywhere, right? If John Swan didn't say anything about it. Him saying anything about it on Twitter is what even got it any attention. It got, it, you know, all these likes and retweets and shit. Dream responded. I mean, of course, I can understand, like, wanting to defend yourself if you see that, but if you know that you're in the wrong, why wouldn't you have just shut the fuck up? Like, why would you have told on yourself? Like, why would you even made this a situation in the first place? And the thing is, is he did a really good job of lying, right? Like, he pointed out, like, oh, you know, he, he basically made it out as if, like, Dream was making this big deal out of this whole situation, right? Like, by responding to it on the stream, by saying anything on Reddit, to, like, cover his ass for this supposed upcoming project that John Swan was working on about Dream. Like, he, he actually had, it seemed like at the time, like, a sensible story built up behind it, just for it to be basically a bunch of bullshit. So, he really put Dream's reputation on the line, along with pretty much the commentary community in general, right? And now... There's a lot of us looking fucking stupid because we defended this guy and now he's admitted that he's lying about the whole thing. So when it comes to his credibility, right, like I, I just I think that this is a, a pretty big nail in the coffin for that, right? Like I think it's hard, especially for a commentator like John Swan to come back from something like this because... A channel like mine, right, like I do generic commentary, like let, let's just call it that, right, you know, I, I do like trending topics, specific subjects or whatever that I want to talk about, things like that, right? John Swan makes like direct critical videos of people and like criticizes these people for doing shit, you know, the whole Chris Hansen saga that's unfolded, That that's the kind of thing that he's known for, he's known for like these serious topical deep dives in criticisms of people, but how can you make that type of content, right? How can you be critical of these people for doing shit that they're doing when you just pulled this off, right? Like, how can you come back from that? I don't really know. I don't know how serious he's going to be taken when he does decide to return to social media. There's a possibility that, you know, in the next few months or weeks or whatever, right, that he's going to, you know, try and come back or whatever. Maybe people accept him back. I don't know, but, uh, I definitely think people should be extremely fucking wary from now on, and, uh, I think that this is going to be kind of a cornerstone moment in the commentary community where people are going to be, I think, a lot less likely to trust each other when these kinds of stories come out, where people are going to be a lot more fucking, uh, you know, critical of people's stories in the community, which kind of sucks because now I can kind of imagine like somebody who is actually the victim in a situation who is now looked at really fucking critically or whatever by the community because they don't want another John Swan situation popping up, right? So a really confusing situation, right? Like, I, I think most people are at this point still wondering why John Swan even made this a big, uh, as big of a deal as he did if he was in the wrong. Like, I really just don't see this becoming as big of a deal as it would have had he just fucking not said anything. So, with that being said, man, uh, this, I guess, hopefully, is the final update on this situation. I don't really see it getting taken much further than this, to be honest with you. There's not really anything John Swan can really say to defend himself. He's kind of begging the community for forgiveness at this point, and uh, I don't know how the future is going to be for John Swan, man, but this was a situation that just simply should have never have fucking happened, so... Can we also just add in really quickly before we wrap this up, John Swan typed like a fucking 13 page Google Doc for this entire thing. Like he, he dead ass typed a short story lie for no fucking reason. Like just, I don't know, man, there, there's no way to even try and fucking quantify what John Swan just did, man. It's just unforgivable. And I just feel shitty about the entire situation, man, because I mean, I, I kind of got lied to, you know what I'm saying? And I said some shit that wasn't true because of it. So with that being said, though, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Uh, make sure to check out Shop Opti down below. Thank you to my channel members. Your support helps my channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Just fucking stunned, honestly. And signing out. You've seen cool stuff in your life before. But you've never seen cool shit like this. Introducing Horser. Are we sure what it is? Not really. But is it interesting? Absolutely. Optimus, what do all these luxury cars and videos of horses and nature have to do with Horser? They're specially crafted in that order to make you want to buy shit. To make you think to yourself, oh, th th this Horser brand represents luxury and wealth and nature and I need that. So fulfill the advertisement's role and go buy it. Horser, keep it on you or some shit like that.